Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Rai and this is Rai's Reading Corner and today I am bringing you an unplugged book box unboxing. from Rise Reading Corner. If this is the first time you see my face, if you not hit that subscribe button, please do so. It's super easy. It really helps my channel grow. So excuse the pile of books over here. My Patreon, um, we're on, we were on live last night and we did a bookshelf organization slash unhaul challenge. So that video will be coming out soon, but I have the pile of books here that we kind of went through and started to unhaul. So I just haven't had a chance to make that video yet to post these on Pango books. So that will be coming out soon. So stay tuned, but I do have all the books piled up here. But back to today's information as you can tell by my thumbnail middle introduction today i'm going to be doing an unplugged unboxing so if you're not familiar i've been an unplugged rep for almost over a year and a half now but i'm really really honored because this time i get to be the ya one so i've been the adult for over a year almost and now i get to be the ya if you're unfamiliar with unplugged book box they strive to combine reading and self-care all into one book box and it makes me really excited that i get to rep them once again if you're interested in the unplugged book box in either the adult or the ya i do have a discount it's right read five i will have the website linked down below as well as my code if you forget it so as i said i am now have the honor of being the ya rep so i'm super super excited for this i don't remember the theme for this one so let's open it up and see what it is okay so i just took the tape off i don't know why i don't keep scissors in here i should know by now I'll let you all get the first peek and we have our spoiler card with the theme up top and it's stories retold and again this is the young adult which i'm super excited it is the july box i'm going to put this to the side i don't want to see any of the spoilery stuff yet but i will go back and see what everything is so first thing i see is a fabric item which i'm super excited about it seems very bright but i like one side is kind of more muted colors and the one side is pretty bright so we have this side here which is a map and it says camp half blood and it is looks like greek type things mythology and the other side is says camp half blood long island sound and it has more like the big house it says different places it must be at this place so i'm thinking this is a cushion for a chair yeah here's the zipper on here i don't know what the phantom is i'll look at the end but some type of story that has greek mythology in it so for me this side is a little bright <laughs> and color wise but i do like this palette much better i don't know if i'll personally use this i don't really have anywhere to put it but i think it is cool and this fabric is really soft which is nice so the next is a spray and it says mommy awata refreshing body mess but it is like a spray and it does it says sea salt tropical plants in danger and it has a really nice label on it what i always love about unplugged book box is they always give you the ingredients on the back so for allergies this is a really good size item for a box i feel like a lot of times you get the small items it's like a full size item so that's really nice i can't wait to use that the next comes in this little pouch which i like i always keep these and use them for myself and so for like gifts and everything like that so this is a little bottle and they put it in this else in this plastic in case it leaks which i hate that i've had it before where something leaks in the box and then it like ruins your other items so this is breeze and it's immortality potion it's pure orange essential oil and so this is a really cute labeling as well i don't know what either one of these phantoms are i probably once i read the thing i'll be like oh my gosh i should have guessed that but i'm terrible at picking out phantoms unless they're like really blatantly obvious so some some essential oils and i really like do appreciate the labeling on that the next thing is robinson family soaps unplugged book locks it says scarlet dark secret shea coconut spa milk bath and soap gives you the directions as well so it is for a nice bath so again that self-care get a book take a nice bath and again it does give you all of the ingredients that comes in it so this must be from like a little red riding hood retelling or something i'm assuming so oh and we have another fabric item whoa okay so another fabric item that's a two in one that's pretty impressive so this looks like it maybe it goes with the other thing maybe I'm not really sure. So, oh my god, that's gonna be super big. So this looks like an item that I got when I was the adult rep. It was like a picnic blanket, which we actually do use. I'm loving the color scheme of this one better than my adult one that I have. And it looks like it is a dagger or a sword in like a library. You're not gonna see all of it. And there's like, is there sea animals? Yeah, there's like sea animals with it. This is really pretty. It's like watercolor. If you had like a wall for a tapestry, this would be really pretty too. So, and it has like underwater, but like it has bookshelves and it says under sea. This is really pretty, really, really pretty. I really like this. Is it like a, yeah, I like this. 
I really am happy with this item. So that looks like it's all of the items that are in this box. So we had the essential oils, we had the sea salt the spray, the cushion, and the blanket or I'm not really sure exactly what it is. So our next thing is our book and it comes with a signed book plate as well to put in your book and it comes with a card from the letter, like an author from the letter. So let's take a look. They always wrap it nice. So if you are living in the area, rain or snow, your book does not get damaged, which I really appreciate because I live in a place where we get all that. So it looks like it sounds like maybe a hardcover this month and it was a hardcover last time too. So again, this is gonna be YA, so I'm super excited. Ooh, okay, so it's called What Bowls Are Made and it says a Weathering Heights remix by Pasha Suri. I have not heard of this. The cover is different. It looks like a historical fiction and novel. The inside is like olden pages, which is pretty cool. And then just a simple cover with a little leaf or feather embossed on this. So I don't know anything about this, but it takes place, it says, in Yorkshire, North England in 1786. And it says the abandonment of Alaskar, a sailor from India, has been with his young life mangled as an outsider when he's brought to a household on the Yorkshire Moors. And it's also something about Catherine. And I'm not really sure. I honestly don't know too much about this one. Chloe Gong has blurbed it, Stacey Lee as well. And it says here that this author, I don't know if this author's written other things, Okay, no, it's her YA debut, so she maybe she's written some other things in the past. But am I excited? I don't really know. Probably not one of the most exciting ones that I am personally that I've gotten. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or I might just unhaul it. I'm not exactly sure. If there was an angle change, I apologize. The camera died. But so let's go over the pamphlet that comes with all the spoiler cards. It's what with all the spoiler information. So first, the like blanket type thing is a like beach sheet blanket, and this is from the Lost Library of a Land which I've not read. The pillow cover was from Percy Jackson, which believe it or not, I've never actually read Percy Jackson's, which is why I did not recognize that fandom. The body mist was from Skin of the Sea, which I've not read, still need to get to that soon. The bath soak is from, just says Scarlet on there. And then the essential oil is from The Poison Heart, which is something that I really want to get to. I actually have it. So it says about the book that it was released on the beginning of the month, which is really exciting. So they give you also some photo challenges that you can do. So these are the YA ones for July. And they also give you journal prompts again, going with the self-care ideas. And then they also give you a recipe for Greek lemon potato wedges, which sounds and looks absolutely delicious. So in the back, we have our August sneak peek. So for the YA, it's forest bathing it says and it will be a first exclusive YA book with stenciled edges foil embossing and exclusive dust jacket Ooh, with reverse that makes me really excited the perfect box for nature lovers it says the next map of our collectible search which is really cool and lots of fey inspired products so a lot of buzzwords for me in the description of what the YA book box is going to look like for August and then for the adult one is all of us hunted which sounds really cool and this is the next tea party item which is something that I am going to miss because I really do like those items a huge fabric item lots of epic fandoms and the next product in the line with fiction and bath co so that's definitely intriguing so overall i don't know if this box was my favorite of all the boxes that i've gotten i have gotten a lot honestly probably the only item that i could put to hold potentially use and it won't be something i will use a lot will this be this blanket because grayson likes to have picnics outside and this is perfect because it's really easy to wash and bring outside if we need be but other than that like i just don't know if i'll use this spray i'm not a really big spray perfume person since i work in a school i'm always nervous about kids allergies and things like that and i'm usually if I do use perfume, I stick to the same kind. The essential oils is nice, but I'm just not really an essential oils person. And the bath salt soak, I probably will eventually use, but it's not something that I will probably use in the dear future. I have a li like literally a pile of these piling up from the Unplugged Book Box. And the book itself, I honestly don't know if I'm going to keep this. It just doesn't sound something that I'm definitely interested in, but the, self, the cover itself is really pretty. So overall, not one of my favorite boxes that we've gotten from them, but I do still think the quality is there. But other than that, I mean, I think it was a fun box. I think it was sounds like it was really fitting for this sounds like they were all based off like retellings of things based off what I've gotten from this pamphlet and those fandoms have not really read any of them and this is a retelling so that makes sense but let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this box what was your favorite item is there anything that you really feel like you would see yourself using a lot and yeah so if you want to take this crazy and chaotic journey make sure you press the subscribe button if you like on any other social media platforms I'm on TikTok Instagram and Twitter also I have my own Patreon so all that information is linked down below so say kind loves and I'll see you next time Bye. Say bye. Say bye. Bye.